and gentlemen, what is up? It is Project JR Guy here. Now you're probably all wondering what, well, you know, why didn't you make a video last week? But, um, yeah, I got really busy and I'm sorry I didn't really keep you guys up to date on it. But here I'm, I decided to do a little change of background and make it up to you guys. And I've got three really good stories today. Um, two of which are very unique, one that I kind of like to cover. Um, I haven't been getting more back into Xbox lately. Uh, I haven't really been playing Yu-Gi-Oh that much. I mean, I still like the game, but don't want my brothers clapping in the bedroom. And the people who are outside. The little kids, most likely. But anyway, um, yeah, I got, um, yeah, ha, I'm gonna lose my train of thought here. I'm so tired. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> but anyway, um, Alright, first story. Let's just get into the first story, that'll probably help. Um, basically what's going on is, yes, there is a zombie attack down in Miami. Now, warning here, if you, if people are like, if you get like sick easily, like off of graphic details, then I recommend that you just don't watch this for the rest of this video. <laughs> but, um, anyway, um, Basically what happened was this crazy guy in Miami who was high off a of bath salt, apparently. So he's totally out of it. Starts repeatedly eating a homeless man's face. Now, people say people have a common misconception that the the man was naked to start with. Yeah, I don't know why he was naked. The zombie or whatever. And but the homeless guy who was the victim of the zombie attack he was not naked to start out with. People got the wrong idea. Now, I don't know how he got new, how he was stupid enough to go up to him to get, like, into his, like, clutch or whatever, but what I do know is he had his clothes on, but then the zombie, according to, I was watching the surveillance cam, it's all everywhere on YouTube, with, like, the zombie tech, but you can't really see it. It's because it's, like, covered by a bridge. He, like, ripped the guy's clothes off, but you can't really see anything because the surveillance camera is like so far up high that it's hard to even make out like the bodies of the people who are fighting and all that, and the cops when they arrived on the scene. But anyway, um, yeah. But then he proceeded to eat the man's face, basically. He ate out both of his eyes, he tore off one of his ears, but just, it's, it was a really bizarre, unfortunately, or unfortunate situation, and I really do wonder why that happened, what made him do this. I mean, well, obviously, people are like, oh, well, obviously, it's a bath salt. But I don't really know, because, you know, drugs are drugs, but I've never heard of a drug making you want to eat another human being. I mean, really, that's, that's cannibalism. Like, I understand a belief, but a drug? I, I don't know. I'm, I have no idea. But, um, anyway... Alright, well the next topic I want to cover is, um, many of you know the famous commentary guy, White Boy 7 Street. He was born here in Milwaukee, and, yeah, some god brother of his, or, I don't know exactly how he related to him, but, he was a really close family member, sort of, kind of. Yeah, he, um, sorry I'm just looking outside because I'm paranoid, I didn't know if someone was going to the door or <laughs> But anyway, um, just... People have been slamming his comments, they're like, oh, well, you're doing this all for likes and favorites, and, and it's like, really, and some of the comments, too, are just, if he was, if the guy was for real, I just wanted to, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything really mean, but just, it just made me feel really angry inside, because a lot of the comments that were directed toward White Boy 7th Street were really bad, and this guy's already got all kinds of likes and favorites. Really, does he need any more? He's not asking for any more. It's not like he's like, please like and favorite the video. Like, he says that in some of his episodes, but in the episodes where he mentions Gilbert, he does not specifically mention it, which makes those arguments basically invalid. They're invalid. And I just, um, white boy just pushed through all this. I, I know what it feels like to lose someone that was really close to you. I lost my grandfather, but, um, yeah, he's, he's in a better place. 
but just push through it, Gilbert. I, I promise you things will get better, and time does heal wounds, that's for sure. But, yeah, just ignore those people who are saying that, because you know what? The stuff they say, the stuff that they were saying to him in the comments, I have to say, is absolute garbage. Like, really, it's that bad. Like, I'm, I'm Roman Catholic, but, I mean, even someone who's, like, a totally different religion, they'd look and they'd just be like, wow, what, what a real meaning, I'm not going to describe it. What a just horrible person. It's really that bad of what people are saying, and it's just, it's unbelievable that people would even attempt to post this on a video like this. And people who are taking a sample, it's good for you guys. And if they try fighting back, you know what? Use this argument. They aren't. He is not looking for likes and favorites. I mean, sure, that's his career, but the purpose right now is he's not looking for likes and favorites. He's just trying to tell the YouTube community what's been going on. And I think he, people are just really kind of getting the wrong idea from his videos. And and but then the people would just plain say, you know what? Just I hate you and all that. It's just just stop it. I mean, you don't always have to express your opinion. I mean, sometimes it's better just to keep your words to yourself. And really, what has he ever done to you that's so terrible? Did he hurt you? Did he come up to your door and rob you? Yeah, no, I don't think so. But, anyway. Yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And, another thing, my last topic, um... Yeah, I have been laser tagging, I think, a lot. And the other day I went, and people, I dressed up like a ninja. Well, not literally like a ninja. I was wearing all black, I really got into the game, it was, um, a lot of you who live by me, you know, there's CMP laser, CMP tactical laser tag, um, it's a really fun place, and I recommend that people who are there do check it out, and it's, they've got a great staff there, humorous, funny, but willing to help you out, it's, it's a really nice place, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's only one thing, though, that kind of bothered me, yesterday I went, and, I was, I was using, okay, so, there's like these normal guns that most people get, it's a three round burst, but then, I got one of the better guns, but it was full auto, but it was rapid fire, and I ran out of ammo much faster, and, as I was coming along this bridge, I had to kill like, ten guys, because I was trying to flank the enemy, and then the guy, I, because the refs originally said, and they were like, well, if you need ammo, we'll refill up your ammo, I'm like, okay, they're just like, well, as long as you're not just randomly firing, and I was like, okay. And I went along and I killed 10 guys coming along, probably about 10 at least, and then I got to the objective, and I believe it was, um, oh I know what it was, we were, um, we had to, um, guard these boxes, it was King of the Hill basically, then. and I was doing good, I was, I was really, I'm really good at laser tag, I mean, I'm not trying to brag or anything, well yeah, I am, <laughs> I am pretty good at laser tag, I mean, I think it's a lot better than Call of Duty, in my opinion, because it's real and all that. But anyway, um, yeah. I was, um, the ref kind of yelled at me because he was like, you know, you should conserve your ammo. But the thing is, though, not to me, but I don't, th either one, he was just confused. Because I wasn't shooting at the walls. Because I wasn't just going, like, you know, like a little bit, woo, shooting up in the air. No, I was shooting other players, and multiple players, I shot probably, I had probably the most kills in that game, not even joking, I'm not like, trying to say, oh well, you're just, you're just a liar, you're just trying to brag and act like you're really good, no, honestly, I do really think I had the most kills in that specific game, but, um, because I had to kill so many people, because I was trying to flank them, but I didn't, but I just like, ended up killing everyone, because like, I kept like, using the cover and stuff. So in the end, I guess it kind of wasn't good, but whatever. Anyway, though, um, yeah, the ref kind of, he was like, he was like, well, you should really conserve your ammo. And another thing, too, was, like I mentioned before, the gun was rapid fire. So it's, you're going to go through ammo a lot faster. And I felt like kind of telling him that, but, you know, I just, I don't know, I didn't want to get shot at, because refs do have that authority, they can shoot you in the head for no reason. Well, they technically have authority to have, although I've never seen that before. But if you're, I'm not, I'm not even gonna get into that. Just check it out. Check out CMP. It's 
really cool place if you live by me. If you can't, then oh well. Play laser tag somewhere. It's fun. It's a good pastime. If you're looking for a real life Call of Duty experience, kind of. Well, um. Oh yeah, and you don't get well, it's like ping pong. Yeah, so that's what's good about it. <laughs> anyway, um. I'm really glad I started. I made a video today. I'm sorry I didn't get it out before I got. I've been really behind and stuff. And I've just been kind of out of it lately. But I'm getting back into it now. And yeah. So, um. Yeah. Please like, rate, subscribe, comment on the video if you have any questions or concerns or create a video response. And I will see you guys either next Friday or Saturday. I will try to make it Friday if possible because that is the last day of school for me. And I'm really excited about that. But anyway, yeah. Peace, guys. See ya.